Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. My name is David Reswosen. I'm a science teacher here in Vietnam. I'm from Ghana and I do videos um, about teaching and living here in Vietnam on this channel. I review perfumes too on the channel. I do some random videos too here which I think are very important to do. And yeah, um, if you think this uh, is something of interest to you, I'll be very glad if you subscribe to the channel. That is, if you haven't yet, and you know, stick around, let's vibe from time to time. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, how I got my science teaching job here in Vietnam while I was back in Ghana in 2019. And uh, hopefully, I'm hoping this video will be uh, a bit of an inspiration to anybody out there, especially in Ghana, who has intentions of, you know, uh, working abroad. So yeah, this is what I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm going to talk about how I got my science teaching job here in Vietnam. All right, guys, welcome back. I don't want this video to be long. Um, to begin with, I would like to share with you what I shared on Facebook, on TikTok. That is the first post I did on social media this year. Uh, to summarize, the post goes like, or the, my post went like, um, whatever you want to do, you decide on what you want to do. You write it down or just put it in record somehow and then get a plan and then start working uh, on whatever you want to do. That is basically what I did uh, in 2013. In 2013, I decided I wanted to be a teacher. So when I decided I wanted to be a teacher, I started researching about what it takes to teach globally. I was actually teaching in Ghana then. Uh, I started teaching in Ghana uh, in September 2011. So yeah, uh, within 2011 and then 2013, that was when I eventually decided that yeah, this is what I wanted to do. So yeah, when I decided I wanted to be a teacher, I was like, no, whatever I want to do, I just don't have to limit myself to only the shores of Ghana. You know, Komla Dumo said something, he said, when, um, whatever you do, you should just think global standards. You should operate at 100% capacity whenever you are given an opportunity. So when I decided I wanted to be a teacher, I was like, um, I don't have to limit my teaching to only Ghana. So I started researching on what it takes to be a teacher outside Ghana or to teach globally. So I started reading around and then I realized that to teach in most countries, uh, the basic things you need is a Bachelor of Education in the subjects you intend to teach. Uh, back then, that was in 2013, I had a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science. It wasn't a Bachelor of Education degree. So since I decided that I wanted to be a teacher, I should somehow get an education degree. So I enrolled uh, to read um, a Master of Education in Science at uh, University of Education in Ghana. And uh, that was in 2015 and I graduated in 2017. So yeah, within this period, I was still researching on uh, the other requirements to teach outside Ghana. So uh, I, I did several courses on my own. I, I did um, uh, assessments for learning, assessment of learning, uh, uh, classroom management, all this rela uh, education related courses on um, courseera.com, Udemy, and then some other websites. So I was doing this to just develop myself in order to reach the global teaching standard that I, so, uh, I, 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 I sought for. So yeah, I was still doing the research and then uh, applying for jobs too. I was still applying for jobs whilst developing myself. So uh, whilst applying for the jobs, I kept, of course, most of the people I applied uh, to or most of the places I applied to I, I didn't uh, get a positive feedback, but I didn't give up. Uh, so yeah, I, I was still applying for jobs and then I realized that I, I should change the way my CV looks. So uh, I, I changed the way my CV looked and uh, uh, I got an app to do my CV and this is how my current CV looks like. I did a video showing people how to do uh, a similar CV. So uh, please check the video description below. Uh, you see the video that will teach you how to do a CV like this. So since I changed my CV to this format, uh, I started getting more positive uh, feedbacks from the jobs that I applied to. Uh, most of those I applied to, uh, uh, most of those I applied to, 
they couldn't go ahead with the interview because they said I wasn't in the country then. So yeah, I still didn't give up. I was still applying for jobs. Um, in terms of teaching, uh, uh, I did my job application on uh, JobRapido, Indeed.com, um, TES.com, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook teaching groups. Uh, it, like it, it depends on the country I, you want to teach in or you want to work in. So I looked for uh, teaching jobs overseas on Facebook, on Google, and then I did so many applications. Remember, I told you, or if you don't know, I started applying for these international teaching jobs from 2013 and I landed one in 2019. So yeah, that should tell you what I did within this uh, six years. I was developing myself. I, I didn't give up because yeah, I had so many rejections. So, and oh, uh, in terms of Vietnam, in addition to TES.com, LinkedIn, and then this Facebook teaching groups, um, I also went on Google and then typed international schools in Vietnam and Cambridge schools in Vietnam, the schools that popped up. I looked on their website and then checked their employment pages. Those that had um, science teaching vacancies, I applied to them. And um, uh, yeah, I, I landed interviews with a few, a few of them and yeah, with my current school being one of them. Uh, they asked me to do, uh, after the interview with my current school, they asked me to do a demo lesson. Like I said, I was teaching back then in Ghana. So I did a demo lesson uh, the demo lesson is on YouTube. I'll, I'll leave a link to the demo lesson in the video description below. So I did the demo lesson on uh, pressure and gases. Uh, I, edit, I edited the video, I sent it to them and yeah, I'm here now. So uh, this looks like a very short story, but it's like me squeezing uh, six years of uh, not giving up into this video. So in the nutshell, what I'm trying to say is that uh, uh, to be able to get uh, a job overseas in whatever field you want, I would advise that you first get the qualifications and then research about uh, what it takes to do that kind of work wherever you want to go. There are requirements for teaching here in Vietnam. In my research, I saw them and then I got all those requirements. I will leave a link to a video that explains or that mentions the requirement for teaching here in Vietnam. So that those of you who are interested, you can also follow suit and then hopefully get yourself a job. But this time around, maybe you'll not be able to um, you know, go through the six years of try and error like I did. So yeah, uh, you, you get the requirement, uh, the specific requirements in the country you want to go and work at, uh, in. And then, yeah, you get those requirements and then you start applying. And our advice, you shouldn't give up. Uh, please don't limit your professional work or whatever qualifications you have to only the shores of Ghana. Whatever qualifications you have, just look at the global standards. Just look at what is done globally. Just look at what is done in the country you want to go and work in get those extra requirements apply for jobs and don't give up i think when you follow this you are likely to get this international uh, professional career opportunity like i have now here in vietnam so yeah that is this is my short story of how i got my teaching job here in vietnam hopefully this will inspire somebody and also get the person uh, a job outside ghana so yeah, that would be it for me for now. And yeah, I would say a very big thank you to all those who have subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't yet and you find what I do here interesting, I would appreciate if you subscribe. And oh, in my next video, um, I'll actually uh, tell you what I did in Fukuok. I visited Fukuok um, before the year ended and I, I took some videos. So yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be telling you what I did in Fukuok the some of these beautiful places I visited in my next video so please watch out once again thank you very much for your time and I will see you in my next video peace and oh happy new year